Okay, so here's what I've come up with. This is the adapter that goes into the front cover. I've got a, what they call a nipple, which is just one eight inch, uh, about an inch long. Um, and then an elbow, and then a two and a half inch, and then a connector, one eighth, one eighth, and then this is my sensor. So let's check it out and see if it uh, fits underneath the bracket. So this is where we're going. This is the bolt, so it's not low enough, but it's not screwed in there yet. So that's what we're hoping to clear. So I got the first part in and it clears. I just did a check with the uh, bracket and it clears that bolt. So uh, just by a few millimeters, I was able to, uh, it, it, it fits. Okay, so here's the final install. Uh, there's the uh, there's the um, sensor to the left and the piping to get it out of the way of the alternator bracket. All right, so let's put it all back together. I did kind of aim it. I think just make this little connection tighter. Um, so and a little easier to get to the connector when I uh, do the wiring. All right, let's put it all back together. First thing is the alternator bracket. All right, so the alternator bracket is held in for by four big bolts with 13 millimeter socket here, 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 and here. So one, two, three, four, and then this little small bolt right here. That's a 10 millimeter socket. That's just going, kind of connecting that bracket that holds on the uh, pipe for the where the water comes out of the uh, upper intake. All right, next, make life easier on yourself. And tap in these captive parts when you, before you put the uh, alternator back in. Makes life a lot easier. All right, alternator's back in. I am gonna put this bolt back on. I took this one off. It's a little eight millimeter socket, just so I could manipulate all this right here to uh, get it on. Uh, maybe I'll do this screw here. These are a bunch of 10 millimeter socket um, for here. Um, got a few of them. Um, so this bolt, this kind of secures the the pipe that's coming from the heater core then I've got for my uh, winch and then I got uh, for the battery uh, that's where I'm um, uh, doing my ground so here's the sensor coming out got everything buttoned up everything but put the uh, battery reconnect the battery but everything's buttoned back up. All right, so let's look at some numbers. So I've got the gauge all wired up. Um, this is my temperature gauge. This is the oil pressure gauge. Um, I'm planning to buy that new uh, gauge that's coming from Flock. It's a new company. And that one gauge, you can have two sensors plugged into it. And it uses the exact same connection right here so it, it communicates uh with an app on your phone you can configure that uh that gauge to read out the way you want it and set up up to four um uh, sensors to it but we're just going to use two so let's uh let's go for a test drive and let's look at the numbers and uh kind of go from there so as you can see Kind of low low 40s and uh we'll start driving and uh I'll, I'll come on back all right so obviously you can see my engine's not warm yet it's only at 125 on the uh, coolant temperature and when i've got the gas on the pressure will go up 
to the high 40s. So I've got the gas uh, gas pedal pressed right now. I'm only going 30 miles an hour, uh, just over 1,000 RPMs. But then when I uh, release the gas pedal, you know, it goes back down to low 40s so low 40s press on the gas pressure will spike up and then it'll drop back down so let's get the uh, engine temperature up to normal and uh, we'll take another look at it all right so we got the engine up to temperature I am running a inline thermostat it's about 82 degrees outside um, but what you'll see is once the once the uh, engines up to, up to temperature it kind of holds steady in the low 40s whether you've got the uh, it might spike a little bit when you right when you put the gas pedal down uh, but it settles down to the low 40s I got the gas pedal down I'm going up a slight hill and I'm at 42 I'm at the top of the hill. I'm, I've taken my uh, gas off the pedal. You know, went down to 41, as you can see, 40. But it's it kind of holds pretty much at the uh, low 40s uh, once the engine is up to up to temperature. So engine up to temperature at a stoplight, um, idling. You know, it's going to be mid to high 20s. So. Um, Hope this helps. I didn't know what the numbers were, should, what they should be, and I asked uh, someone that uh, knows a lot more about these engines than me, and he confirmed that these engines look good. These numbers look good for this engine.